Hey everyone, it's Paul. I wanted to share with you an experiment I'm working on with the Cryptanthus, also known as the Earth Star Bromeliad. Um, this is a terrestrial bromeliad, so it is not an epiphyte, does not live up in trees. Here's a good uh, picture of the plant I've been working with. And what happened was I had bought a large plant and this was an offset that um, through movement, I guess bringing it home, it popped off. And I decided to try keeping it alive without potting it right up in soil like most people do with cryptanthus. Um, beautiful plant, has beautiful color and when it gets bright light, this one hasn't been in that bright of light uh, for this experiment, but you can see it does have like overtones of reddish purple. So very, very pretty. Anyway, I've been keeping it in like this dish and pretty much treating it like uh, an air plant. So I've been watering it, I've been soaking it, making sure it's getting enough light. And as you can see in this picture here, it started to pop. It has not bloomed. I don't know if this is a survival tactic because it's been removed and it's not in the soil, but it started popping. Um, there's one you can see right there. Uh, in this next picture, you can see there's a second one. So there were two sprouting at the same time. I believe there's three that are the same size on this one, but the pups look healthy. They're growing pretty quickly. I'm watering it a few times a week. It's not like it's just once a week. So I'm keeping it hydrated because I know that it doesn't have any roots and it doesn't have soil to uh, maintain the humidity. Here's another shot of that second pup. Um, I'm pretty amazed by this because after the first month, it didn't start to decline. It didn't look like it was in dire need of anything, really. Um, the tip that was broken, that was cut, that came off of the mother plant, started to shrivel just a bit, but that's what happens with these plants. You can see it right there. Um, but if you see really closely, look really closely in the middle of the base, there's another tiny pup starting to grow out of the bottom of the base. Unbelievable. Um, so yeah, I'm just keeping this like I would any other air plant, any other Tillandsia, for example, keeping it watered, hydrated, nice bright light, and we'll see how long we can keep this going. At the minute that it shows a decline or need for something different, I will pot it up like I would any other cryptanthus, but I will take you along for the ride so you can see exactly what is possible with these plants. I'm always fascinated with this uh, family of plants, bromeliads in general, so this is just a fun experiment and we'll see what happens. As usual, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next video.